19 days ago I took these Japanese barberry cuttings and looking now I can see new growth on them. In a moment I'm going to empty the pots and see what the roots are like but first I'm going to show you how I did it. This is Japanese barberry and so is this. It's loved by some, hated by others and it's classed as invasive in some countries. But I'm going to show you how to propagate some I'm just going to take some cuttings this is old growth here and that's hard that won't root after that it comes semi hard and it gets softer and softer and softer until right on the end it's completely soft where you're going to take the roots is on the semi hard so get rid of the old and you want to cut it just below where there's a leaf there then take off the completely soft and that's your cutting the bottom leaves you strip off and just leave a few at the top semi hard semi hard a little bit soft on the end as soon as you can put your cuttings in a glass of water to keep them fresh if you can't do that if you're in a park or somewhere put them in a polythene bag a ziploc bag and that will uh, that will keep them fresh till you get home for my potting mix i'm using one part sand one part compost, actually probably a little bit more compost, one part horticultural grit and one part vermiculite. That's good for keeping the moisture in. So mix it all up. If you can't get horticultural, if you can't get horticultural grit, you can use fish tank grit, aquarium grit, very similar thing. All you need to do is take your cuttings at the bottom, give them a little scratch about an inch long with a sharp knife, sharp clean knife like that. If you go any rooting powder dip them in and just put them in the end of the pot like that on the side. I'm keeping the red ones in a separate pot to the to the golden ones. Simple as that. Give them some water, tap water because tap water is more sterile than rain water and then put them in the shade and look after them, keep them damp and they'll root. Okay let's do this, this is the golden barberry, you can see right away one of them is dead but something like them out. No, it's completely dead. This one, with the new, the new growth. Yes, I can see roots on there. Little roots on the bottom. This one here with the new growth. Yeah, little white roots on the bottom. A bit difficult to see, but they're there. And this third one, oh that's a good root on that one, you can see it just, just there, oh there's another root there. And now the red barberry, a few weeds in there. That one hasn't got anything, it's dead. This one a bit of growth on the top and just very fine roots on the bottom. I don't think you can see them on the camera. This one, yeah, some nice roots, roots there. That would have gone if I'd left it. This last one, 
some roofs near the top on this one there. So yeah, very successful. If I wanted to pot those on, I'd put them into fresh pots. Individual pots this time. And uh, just grow them on, same soil mix. And uh, next year they, they would have been really big. But seeing I've got enough Japanese barberry, I'm not going to bother. Right? Thanks for watching. John at Garden Grow Good. See you again soon.